Okay, now I have it uh, it's uh, in focus and you can see this grow. So what I thought would happen, happens. This is beautiful, it really is. Oh, I just wish I had a little bit more cell action there, but I don't. So sometimes you just have to live with it. Now look at that spread out. That is so awesome, I love this. These cells in the middle here, perfection. They are beautiful. Wow, this is something I really, really like. Although I have to move it a little bit down to get it centered. But look at that, is that pretty? I think I'm onto something here, guys. That bottle cap's really working out for me. That is really pretty. Look at this grow. See that? This is really what I, this is something that really touches my soul. This is beautiful. Wow. Uh, let me get you in even closer if I can. Yeah, not working. Oh, there we go. See how that's spreading out? That's going to spread out for at least another 10 minutes. And that's what I was going for. I would love it if it were even to grow bigger. I see this is growing. This is still growing. That is really what I, I really like. This is an exceptional piece. Let me get you back there. See how it's growing? That is really beautiful. So remember, it's going to go even bigger. I'm going to um, try and uh, I'll just keep the video on. And then when I put it online, I'm going to speed up this, this part. So I'm going to close my mouth now and not talk anymore. Otherwise, you're going to get an audio that sounds like Yep, something like that. So uh, I can just talk. You'll just hear So what? There's not much I'm going to tell you that is interesting anyway. <laughs> Only that is really, really beautiful. Oh boy. Look at those. Those are really beautiful. Okay, little recap. I can do that. The thing is, guys, that now I understand what's happening. First I didn't. I thought I did, but then I didn't. And now I do. So the background paint really needs to be thin. It has to be like I showed you when I poured it on. When you pour it on, it has to be totally flat and really thin, but not, not watery thin. It still has to have consistency. Then when you do your pour on top, this paint that you put on top is the normal consistency, what we pour with. And because of the, uh, the really thin underground, it, it's, it's moving into the background. So that, that makes these awesome effects. Not sure if you're still following it, but it is getting bigger by the minute. And I think this is something that we can control. Because if we made the background paint just a tiny little thinner, uh, thicker, um, you can control how big these outlines are going to be. So that's really interesting. But this is, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to get my little palette knife. I'm not sure if you can hear uh, anything in the background, but it is coming down like crazy. And we really needed some rain. But it is raining. Not normal, really. I might give you a little bit of video in a bit. Okay. I'm going to smooth this out just a little bit because I see some uh, little bumpy things here. I don't want that. And I'm pretty sure this is going to dry... Um, flat there's no question it's going to dry flat but sometimes you just have to help it a little bit so up here i see let me get the background color i see a couple of pieces that need a little bit more paint but it'll dry really flat i'm hoping that i can show you that tomorrow that's going to work out 
I just don't want to see the linen of the uh, canvas or the, the, you know, the structure of the canvas, that's all. Well, it really grew a lot because I'm pretty sure that about an inch all around, that's how much it, it grew. And um, that's perfect. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop the video now. Oh, I see, I see a little bit where the paint... Ooh, good thing I... I'm looking all over because here I can see that this is where I dragged the the cap and I can see canvas. You don't want canvas. Oh, good thing I watched. There you go. Yeah, that works out. Not that it, you'll see the, the bare canvas because that's impossible because I put a layer of paint on there first. But I did see a little bit of the structures and you I, I just don't want it in this part. If it's a little bit on the outside in the negative space, that's okay, but not in that part. Now, this is awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop saying how awesome it is. Um, I'm going to put my lids on my paint. I still have lots of these canvases. I just might do another two tomorrow now again if anyone wants to buy this one you can but you have to email me and the, the thing is that you'll have to wait at least three weeks because that's how long it's going to take uh, to cure and to do its thing you can email me at ridder oops ridder hoff this is my name ridder hoff then a little line art at zigo dot nl that's the email ridderhoff little dash art at zigo dot nl and the first one that comes in it's yours i sell these for 49 euros including shipping worldwide so there's no additional costs there's no uh, custom fees or whatever because it's um that's uh you don't have to do that i'll pu i put that on the label and um that's it it's gonna grow a little bit more like i said at least 10 to 15 minutes and um, i'll show it to again tomorrow if you um mail me that you want it when it's dry i'll send you a picture and you can always say uh i changed my mind that's no problem whatsoever. So guys, thanks for watching. Love you all to pieces. I'm really thrilled, really thrilled about this uh, technique and I'm gonna do some more tomorrow. So see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.